A verbal clash ensued between Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu and lawyer Philip Morgor during Morgor's vetting for the position of Chief Justice. The two differing over whether the office of the Chief Justice is vacant despite the DCJ holding it uh, in an acting capacity. Stephen Leto reports that the former DPP says he is up to the task to succeed Maraga. As the search for the country's new judicial sheriff continues, the vetting panel today grilled former DPP Philip Murgo. During the memorandum stage, lawyer Philip Murgo had written to the Judicial Service Commission asking that acting Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu rescue herself from the interviewing panel for the CJ and Supreme Court judge positions of what he termed as client-advocate relationship with a CJ candidate. That friction playing out today during the day-long session. Are we still together? We, uh, you've lost me. Um, you, I, I'm not sure even you are with, with the question. Yes, I please, am. Please repeat it. I am with the question because I'm the person asking the question. It took me time to come up with the question. Okay. So I know the question. Mwilu and Murgol again locking horns over the true meaning of the one holding office of CJ in an acting capacity, a position Mwilu holds awaiting the conclusion of the ongoing process. The limitations are found in the word acting, acting. When I say acting, it, is, it means exactly what it is. Every single person in that office views you through a certain lens. You are temporary in that office. A tense Mwilu versus Murgol session during the vetting also saw the former DPP taken to task of how he will maneuver through the contours of judicial independence. You will hear that the judiciary must exercise restraint. In fact, if I left it there and I said discuss, what would senior counsel say? You know, you make it sound, um, um, Commissioner Muelo, like we are in uh, an exam. Uh, I don't know who has told you uh, when you say we are told, but I'll take it that that is a criticism that has been leveled at the judiciary by some quarters. Murgo says he holds a commendable track record that makes him fit to steer the wheels in the apex court, adding that his long experience in the corridors of justice places him at a vantage point. JSC has today concluded its first week of vetting with lawyer Fred Ngatia, Justice William Oko, Justice Ndumanderi, Professor Wekesa Moni, and Miss Alice Jepkoet scheduled for interviews next week. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.